Today's video is on the top five most obscure golf greens. Number five, Legend Golf and Safari Resort, South Africa, hole 19. The 19th hole at the Legend Golf and Safari Resort is, quite simply, one of the most extreme holes you'll find anywhere in the world. It's a par three, but at 400 yards in length, and with a 400 yard drop between the tee on the top of a cliff and the Africa-shaped green below, you'll be hard pushed to make it without taking a drop shot. This setup is so extreme that you can only access the tee by helicopter and need a spotter down below to see where your ball lands. Of the thousands of people who have taken in this experience, less than 20 have managed to get a birdie. Those who have made par number less than 200, and no one has ever managed to get a hole in one, a feat that comes with a $1 million cash prize for the first golfer to do so. Number four, Dunkirk, France, hole three. France is a romantic destination for people from across the world, and the designers of the Dunkirk golf course decided to factor this into their plans for its famous third hole, which has a green that's been meticulously formed into the shape of a heart. Located in the village of Kodkirk, in the northernmost tip of France, the entire course is made up of geometric shapes, with stone and wooden walls, honeycomb turf partitions, and green walls that are inspired by the architecture of Fort Valliers. It was designed and built in 1983 by Robert Berthet and has been a popular draw ever since. Not just for the golf, but because of its location, looking out across the Flemish countryside and surrounded by a wide variety of flora and fauna. The course is often referred to as a life-size version of a miniature golf course. And from these images, it's clear to see why. Number three, El Camaleon, Mexico, hole one. Golf courses around the world have a range of obstacles to be avoided, such as sand traps and water features. But the El Camaleon course in Mexico has something unlike anything you'll see anywhere else in the world, a giant cave on the freeway of the first hole. Known as a cenote, these geological structures are found across the country and are formed by water eroding the soft limestone bedrock over centuries. Quite often, they lead into networks of subterranean tunnels, and many were used by ancient civilizations for ceremonial purposes or as burial chambers. This one, though, has a more significant meaning to golfers today, because it isn't just there as an aesthetic feature on the course. The architects purposefully designed the first hole with this cenote in mind and ensured that it was perfectly positioned along the freeway to pose a big obstacle to those trying to reach the green in a couple of shots. Hitting too hard and landing in there could well be the end of your game. And there are several other factors, such as the coastal weather and wildlife, to take into account to traverse the hazard successfully. The first part of the opening has been turned into a typical sand bunker, but if your ball travels too far, there's no way you're going to be able to retrieve it. It's feared by all who take on this course, from the amateurs who often misjudge it to the pros who compete here at the OHL Classic every year. Number two, Camp Boniface, South Korea, hole one. For those looking for a more intense golfing experience than the tranquil coastal locations you typically think of, then Camp Boniface may just be up your street. The camp is located just under two miles south of the military demarcation line between North and South Korea and was, until 2006, the home of the United Nations Command Security Battalion, who were responsible for monitoring and enforcing the armistice agreement between the two countries. Now, since being handed back to the Republic of Korea, it's a historical monument, but is still surrounded by triple coils of razor wire, is the site of orientation missions for new troops to the area, and is also where you need to go to pick up your demilitarized zone related souvenirs. As you can imagine, this is a dangerous area, but this didn't stop those who worked there from building their own golf course. It contains just one 192 yard hole, which is a par three, but you'll never have played anywhere like this before. The AstroTurf green is on a ledge and the green also covered by AstroTurf is surrounded on three sides by landmines. Yes, that's right overhit the ball and the results could be explosive. 
It's the presence of the minefield that led to the course being named the most dangerous hole in golf by Sports Illustrated, and it's claimed that at least one ball has led to the detonation of a mine. The warning sign, as you approach, that instructs visitors not to attempt to pick up their balls from the live minefields may seem unnecessary, but it all adds to the allure and suspense of this place, which surely has to be on the bucket lists of golfers from across the globe. Number 1. Coeur d'Alene Resort, Idaho, Hole 14 The Coeur d'Alene Resort in Idaho is a place of luxury, and, as you'd expect of a destination like this, they have an equally as impressive golf course. Opening in 1991, it was designed by Scott Miller and is on the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene. The fairways are kept in immaculate condition, and even the rough is cut as short as most fairways on other courses. While the fifth hole is a curvaceous beauty after being remodeled in 2004 with dynamite, the main attraction at this course, and the thing that's made it famous around the world, is the 14th. The green is on an island in the lake, which is only accessible by boat. On the island are two bunkers, some trees, and some landscaped flower beds, along with a jetty for the boat to moor on. This is, without a doubt, one of the most unusual greens you could ever play on, but the design of this made it even more impressive than it initially seems. The island is completely man-made, and the 15,000 square foot green sits on top of 104 blocks of expanded polystyrene that have been encased in concrete. It weighs 22,000 tons, and thanks to a complicated system of underwater cables that are controlled by a computer system, it can be moved around. Each day, the length of the hole is changed, with options between 90 and 220 yards. Usually, it's a distance of between 140 and 170 yards, though, and it's a par 3. You'll need to be precise with your aim if you want to get it right the first time. It's the only floating green in the world, and the only extendable or retractable course anywhere, which truly makes it a unique experience. Honorable Mentions Brickyard Crossing, Indiana, Hole 7 through 10. The Brickyard Crossing Golf Course in Indiana is alongside one of the state's most high profile venues and, in some parts, crosses over it. Yes, that's right, this course plays across the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It was designed by world famous golf course architect Pete Dye, and while most of it sits neatly to one side of the racetrack, Holes 7 through 10 are actually placed within the speedway. This requires players to walk across the tarmac, which means that, for the safety of all involved, the course is closed during all race days. Playing at Brickyard Crossing is an experience like nowhere else, and it's particularly popular with NASCAR fans who want the chance to see the venue from a completely different perspective. It's an important pro course, too, and its owners say it's one of the only few venues in the country to host PGA, LPGA, and Champions Tour events. Fossil Trace, Colorado, Hole 12 The Fossil Trace Golf Club in Colorado first opened in 2003, but in a lot of ways, this course was 64 million years in the making. That's because, near the foothills of the Rocky Mountains, this course was built through clay mines that contained fossilized remains of the dinosaurs that once roamed in the region. By the green for the 12th hole, for example, are a number of impressions, including those from the footprints of a triceratops. And the course's logo, a palm leaf, is inspired by a prehistoric trace fossil that's also nearby. The architect and renowned designer behind Fossil Trace, Jim Ng, made sure to use all of the natural features in his plans. The fairway for the 12th is interrupted by sandstone pillars and walls which, while they would have been no problem for the dinosaurs, they add an extra level of complexity to golfers of all abilities.
I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.